Charlie Sisk here, introduction to the Star Rifle Stock System. The system that you're seeing here consists of mainly three parts. The buttstock section, the receiver section, and the forestock section. On the buttstock we have several adjustments. Adjustable length of pull. We have a cheek piece that will adjust fore and aft, up and down and at the angles. The unique thing about the STAR system that the others don't have is the ability to index the buttstock. So if you're wearing a gas mask, you have a high mounted optic, low optic, big head, small head, you can adjust for whatever you need. All of the adjustments on the STAR system have index marks as well. The STAR buttstock system has more adjustments than any other models on the market. Notice the angle of the butt plate. It has four different angled positions where you can have it kicked in or out, left or right. Also, with the spacing, the butt plate can be ran higher or lower on the recoil shaft. The grooves in the recoil shaft serve as index marks. Also, if you're a very tall shooter, or you have a very high optic, there is another position here that you can run the shaft in and get another inch and a half of drop. The cheek piece is ambidextrous. The bolts can go in from either side. However, it's designed in such a way that if you're a left or right-handed shooter, they're low enough in the system they don't get into your face and give you any problems. Um, index marks, both sides, front and back for the cheek piece. The star system going forward is just a captured nut that threads up onto the shaft on the end of the receiver section. Index marks in minutes up here on top. Uh, and this system allows for indexing the, the buttstock, also makes for a uh, quick takedown system. Okay, the star rifle stock system, the SIS Tactical Adaptive Rifle, has four individual patterns that are associated with this system. One of the unique features of the STAR system is uh, its adaptability and interchangeability. The modularity of this system allows for, this is a short Remington 700, this is a long Savage 110, this is a short action Savage 110, and then a long action Remington 700. You'll notice the back end of the receiver sections are all the same. So they will all interchange with the same bus stock. So if you have a Remington, Savage, Winchester, uh, whatever brand receiver section you, the rifle you have, you would inlet for that particular receiver section and you would not be building an entire new system every time. The front end of all of the receiver sections are the same. They have the same unique dovetail that's included in the pattern and it allows for all the different four stock variations will fit on all the different receiver sections. The receiver section of the STAR rifle stock system is quite unique. Here we have a trigger guard assembly that will accept a 5 or 10 round magazine. Now as you well know, Several states, in Virginia in particular right now, are trying to outlaw anything that will accept a seven round magazine or more. So if you have a system that only runs a mag, even if it's uh, a 10, but if, it will, if you're running a five, but it will accept a 10, it will be illegal. So all of a sudden your, your whole weapon is illegal to own, but with the STAR system, with the way the trigger guard assembly is inleted, you can go in and add these spacers and you can run a factory trigger guard and make your weapon legal. That uh, really changes the modularity of the manufacturer because you're not running, making, manufacturing two or three different systems. You have one system that will work for whatever the customer needs. One of the other features is on the back of the receiver section, you have these individual spacers that can go in and what these will do is change the distance from the uh, trigger to the pistol grip in quarter inch increments. 
The forearm section of the star is, is quite unique uh, and very modular as well. On this particular rifle, we have an AR handguard threaded on here. It's a short one. Uh, obviously, there's a thousand AR handguards. You have long ones, medium length, quad rail. There's a, a lot of different versions of that out there. But with the way that the four end section uh, attaches to the front of the receiver stock, allows you to run whatever the customer needs. The modularity of the star system allows for a quick change out of all the different four ends. There are seven versions of four stocks. Here I have the AR. Here is the, the F1, the standard tactical four end. That's the long version. I have a medium length version and the short version. And on these models, these is the short, medium, and long flashlight model. And on this one, it has a light internal. So when you're running the weapon, it's clean. You don't have a light. Same here. But all three of these have, have the flashlight capability. So we're going to demonstrate how quickly this can be changed for the, if you need to change it out in the field or if the uh, shooter needs to change it at home or whatever he would need to do. The wedge block comes out, the whole assembly comes off the front of the weapon. You pick whichever four stock you want. It simply slides on, put your nut installed, tighten it up and you're finished. I'm going to have an end user demonstrate how easy it is to change out the four stocks. One of the other patented products that's part of the STAR system is called the HEPR, H-E-P-R, Handguard Extending Picatinny Rail. And it is threaded into the end of an AR handguard. And it allows the, the HEPR to be indexed 360 degrees depending on what the end user needs to mount on and where they need it indexed. Being this Picatinny Rail, there are a lot of accessories that will go and fit to this. Uh, it consists of just a heifer and a lock ramp. One of the uses of the heifer device means that it can be indexed 360 degrees. With all the other systems out there, we're going to assume that we're on a hillside here. We're on a steep angle and we are ran out of adjustment. We had one leg all the way out, the other one completely retracted, and we still have this much cant in the weapon. We don't know where our shot's going to go. That, that throws our line of sight to bore off. This is not going to work very well. But with the heifer system on here, all that's required is to simply turn the rifle until it's level and take your shot. One of the unique features of the heifer when you're using it in an AR handguard system like that, uh, you can take your average bipod. And this one has three separate height adjustments. All right? And when you have this on all your other systems, uh, you, you obviously have three different heights that you can run your, your rifle. With the Hepper device, when you mount this exact same handguard on the Hepper, no modifications to the bipod, just simply mounting it on the Hepper actually doubles the number of height adjustments. So you understand that, no modifications, we mount it and it doubles the number of usable heights. And I'm not smoking crack. Here, and I'll show you how that works. If you just come up one height, with the other systems you're gonna have can't in your weapon and you can't take a shot, or at least you shouldn't. But with the heifer device, you can simply level the rifle. So there's one position, there's one height. You go two, you level it back up. You go three, and you level it. 
you go four, then you level it. Then you can go to your fifth and level it. Then you can go to your sixth and level it. So you take a bipod that has three height adjustments and the simple act of mounting it on the heifer doubles the number of usable height adjustments. One of the unique features of the heifer device when you're running it on an AR platform or any shoulder fire weapon is the ability to index this in a comfortable position that's more ergonomically correct. And having out here uh, in, in this position gives you a lot more control of the muzzle. I am shooting now having it on the right side, but the, one of the other features that the heifer really promotes is using both sides of your body. All right, so simply turn it to the other side, switch, and it's equally as good for a right hand or left hand shooter. When you're running a weapon mounted light on, on your system, you can mount it on the right or the left, but at best, it's only going to be in the correct position half the time. If you've got to mount it on the right, you're a right handed shooter. Uh, you're shooting around cover, you're going to have to be leaning way out to use your weapon uh, and you have to be a good distance out to keep the splash of the light from coming back into your eyes. Another version of the heifer, this is going to be Gen 2, uh, it's going to have a section of rail 180 degrees from the other. So if you're running a vertical hand grip and a light, if you're shooting from your left side, you're from behind cover this much, right? 